Have you actually taken some photographs and actually would well how do I display them in a video? Well I was actually asked this question because of the way that I actually show mine. So I thought you know what I'll let you into my little secret. Greetings all. Yep. Um, yeah, I was actually asked a question. Um, it was actually a, a while ago, and uh, it was all about the way that I do the parts in my videos where I actually show the images that I've actually taken. And so I actually explained to the person how it was actually done. Well, he got back to me uh, a week or so ago, and um, yeah, he struggling a bit. So I said, do you know what? I'll put something together because I'm pretty sure there's quite a few people that when they do the photographs, they really want to show them off. Well, I know I've done a video on this before, but that is how I used to do them. And well, do you know what? This is how I do them now. So, let's get into how I created that. Some of you may or may not know that I use uh, DaVinci Resolve. I'm not gonna go into too much of the reasons why, but for me, DaVinci Resolve, it does everything you wanna do, very powerful, and uh, it's actually quite simple to use once you get your head around uh, the basics of um, cutting and editing stuff. Uh, there's a lot of features in it which um, I really like. Uh, a lot of plugins are available, and two versions you can get, the free or the paid, for me, I just stick with the free version because that does everything that I actually need to do. Um, it's a professional video editing suite, so it's not really simplified or anything like this. Um, but yeah, that's the reason that I use it, really. And um, yeah, also I'm not gonna go into too much about it. So here we are in the main part of the Roll. So let's just uh, create um, the full, the file name for what we're going to be doing so let's just call it image showcase there we go that will do image showcase and oh uh let's skip that for now because there's an update available <laughs> it's always the same never mind right and just a few housekeeping things here so we're going to do per second save it as that right so um also i'm not going to go into too much of davinci resolve so it, purely because it's it, there's there are lots of videos out there of the basic use usage and that of it and at the end of the day this is a photography sort of channel really it's just a case of you know but anyway it's not waffle um, i've got the photo that i'm going to use which is this one so we're going to drag that into the pool and the audio which is this one we're going to drag that into the pool yes so and so how do I actually go about doing this? Quite simple, really. And so first off, we've got our um, image that we are going to use. So we're just going to drag that onto the timeline. Um, depending on how long you want to show each image, is going to depend on how long we're going to drag the image um, across here um too short it's not going to look good if it's too long people are going to get bored so i tend to reasons behind it i tend to go for around about 16 to 20 seconds on each section that i'm going to do it sounds long but you're not more is actually going to become um clear as we move on so the first part of the image we go we've got it 16 seconds long but we don't want to show the image as just well as it is on there um, which is obviously the top of here so this little transform box here if we go down to dy dynamic zoom you've got a green and a red box we're going to use these to show um, like a movement across 
the image. I'll explain. So let's do the first box. We can shrink this green bit down. We're going to place it here. Do the same with the red and we're going to place it here. So I'll show you what this is actually going to do now. As you'll see, it's going to play from the green to the red. So you see how it's very slowly moving. That's the first part of showing the image done. That's it. So we're going to do the same again, but we're going to drag this, the same image again, on top of the timeline, normally around about halfway through. Same again. Drag that to about 16 seconds. Now this is what I say is, it's not going to be 16 seconds and 16 seconds. So it's going to be to that part and it's going to go onto this part, as you will see. Boom. Right. But you want to do the same again. So what I actually do, and I do this for a particular reason, is we fade the bottom one out because we're going to fade the top one in in a minute after because we're going to do another dynamic zoom but this time in a different direction so we're going to go from there and let's just sort of come and let's sort of come out a little bit see what that looks like shall we so we're going to fade one out and fade the other one in so let's go for around about seven seconds Normally what I do between six and eight is around about that sort of point where I'll fade one in, fade one out. So let's just play that and you'll see what that actually looks like. And you're going to see that this is actually really simple. So one fades out, the other one will fade in. And that's the sort of transition that we're looking for. Okay, and then we'll stop at the end of the first one. But we are going to do the same. We're going to fade that top one out. But we're going to do the same again. But this is where you're going to actually show the actual image. This one will probably be... Um, I do vary the length of this top one. Depending on whether I've got another image that's going to follow. Or whether this is the last image that I'm going to be showing. And the reason being is because the fade out on the last image is going to be longer than if you're going from one to another image. But we're going to say this is going to be the last image. So I'm going to go a little bit longer than 16 seconds, um, probably around about 18. So it's only a couple of seconds longer. But there are reasons, you'll see. So, same again, we're going to fade that one out. So you're only actually seeing a couple of seconds of that image. But that doesn't matter. Okay. This one is literally going to be a very small fade in. And the reason is because we can do something else with this one in a minute. Now, DaVinci Resolve, we've got some uh, pretty good built in effects. And the one that we I, I use on here, if we can just, um, sorry, open effects, there it is. Go all the way down. Open effects all the way down. Keep going down to this one where it says blanking fill, which is this is the one we're going to use. So we're going to drag that onto that image. Now this is the bit that we're going to manipulate. So let's turn the transform off. Put timeline in the middle. Now you'll see there's the image and the back is slightly blurred. This is the part that we want. So let's go into effects. First thing we do is go into the source. And the reason being is because it actually crops the image. We do not want it cropped. So we set that to zero. Back into the video, make sure you've selected the image, the top one, and we want to zoom in just slightly so the whole image shows within the frame. Okay, back to effect. So on the effects here, we've done the source and we're going to go onto the fill appearance. Very slightly just blend the edges. And the reason being is it just softens the outside of the image that you're going to show. Only really, really small. Blur the background. We can choose how much we want to blur. We can have it no blur or a lot of blur. 
I tend to leave around about halfway. Fade and mount. This is what I use to change, depending on the image itself. If it's a light image, I tend to try and keep it light. If it's a darker image, I'll switch that to dark. It's totally up to you how you want to do it. If you're showing a lot of images after each other, then switch it about. So switch from a dark to a light, from a dark to a light, because then it, it just gives it a bit of a different effect each time, as opposed to it looks the same. Hopefully that makes sense. Drop shadow is exactly the same. Crank it right the way up and it adds a nice little border around the outside. I do not touch anything else and I do not touch the blur. The colour, same again. Depending on what you want to do, whether you want it to be nice and dark or nice and white. I mean, you can if you want to go for something red or blue or however it is they feel. I just tend to stick to either the white or the black, depending on which one is your preference. Entirely up to you. I'm going to leave this one on white, I think. Yeah. Okay. So let's play that back from the start and then you'll see the whole transition between each of the images and that's fading in and fading out to the other one like I say it's only showing that for a couple of seconds into the next one and that's the show part of the whole image but we still haven't done yet so once you've done the blank and uh, the blank and fill is we're going to go to uh, you know just a few seconds in um, so we're going to go about here and we're going to put a cut right there and the reason that we've got to do the blank and fill before is because if you do the next part first and then you do the blank and fill it doesn't work very well at all <laughs> right so we've done the cut make sure you've selected the first part and then we're going to go back to the transform and we're going to add again the dynamic zoom okay so on the video where it says dynamic zoom make sure it is turned on scroll to this linear now the linear part is it's going to move at a set pace we want to change that so it's an ease in and ease out so it gathers speed and then slows down okay just adds that little bit more of an effect once we're done that is it so let's go back to the beginning and we'll play the whole thing again. So that's the first part. Nice little gentle scroll. Fades into the next part of the image. And then this is the part. And that is all we do. And then obviously because it's the last part of the image, we will fade the whole part out. But we're still not done yet because we're now going to add a tune. Now, there are certain there are certain styles of tunes that I like to play, and there is a certain part that of that I like to use. I like it to have like a bit of a um, a, a drop or something in it. And the reason being is because we'll show you on this one. Um, I'm going to turn the volume down a bit on it because they tend to be a little bit loud. <laughs> right. And what I'm looking for is, is a part. Let's have a look. Right, here we go. So I'm looking for the, the drop. It's coming up somewhere. That's where the drop is. That's the bit that I want. So let's um, get to the drop because that's the drop. So let's move that now. So it's in line with the start of the third part, which is this part here. Okay. We then drag so we've got the, and then we're going to just a bit of a fade in 
and a bit of a fade in with the music as well. And then once we're done at the end, we'll place a cut right at the very end. Oh. And we'll get rid of the end. Now this is the fade out, and you do the fade out of the tune to start. So we're about here. I want to start to fade the tune out before the fade out of the image itself. And then so the whole thing then will be like this. Thing that we can actually add just to give it that little bit more of a a thing on the drop where as we go into that final image so if we go into the video transitions there's in DaVinci Resolve there's plenty of different transitions that are actually built in that's really nice and just very gentle the ones that I tend to use on my image when I do the image showcase is either the block glitch the bright flash or the camera shake. I think on this one I'm going to do the camera shake. So I'm going to drag that just onto the end of that image. And we don't want it too big. We only want it pretty small. Um, so let's go with uh, about 10 frames. Yeah, we've got about 10 frames. So it will actually be too short. Let's get a bit bigger. There we go. I might do that probably just a little bit more to go 18 frames, see what that looks like. Yeah. Yep, so there we go. Let's start that right way from the beginning. And that is all I do for each of the showcasing images. There we have it. Hope you found that useful and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Stay safe. I'll see you soon.